This is what I think about remarkable for reading academic documents. Everything that I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial applies to the Remarkable 1 and the Remarkable 2 because the software is exactly the same. One thing that I'm loving more and more of this is the Remarkable for reading actual academic documents. It is true that it's an A5 size and you're often looking at documents which are actually formatted for A4. So it's pretty difficult in that respect. You can zoom in and zoom out, but that is not a massively smooth experience. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. However, in the recent update 2.6, they have actually enabled pinch to zoom. So it works like you'd expect to zoom on most tablets. There's also the landscape view, but that's pretty much pointless because all that does is just move where the toolbar is. It doesn't actually rotate the document and that could have been useful because then it could have been the same size it was meant to be on A4 and you could just scroll down. So it is not the best device for reading the academic documents. However, what is really good is being able to annotate them on them as you go. I think that's a fantastic use. I hope that was useful. If you've got any more questions about using your Remarkable or if you're just interested in using it as a professional, then hit me up in the comment section below.